perhaps you've seen this video on YouTube. The time-lapse clip shows a wilting, sad-looking plant getting watered and seemingly springing back to life in a span of 30 minutes. What kind of crazy magical plant is this? And why do mine always stay dead? To find out, we talked to Dr. Frank Toluski, plant biology professor and curator at the W.J. Beale Botanical Garden at Michigan State University. What we're looking at in this video is clearly a plant that has uh, been exposed to drought stress and uh, definitely in need of water. I think the key element here in the discussion is to recognize the plant is not dead. The plant is not coming back to life per se. Um, it's just severely wilted. If the plant was truly dead, if it had reached what we refer to as the permanent wilting point, then adding water back would not have allowed it to recover. But what we've actually seen, which is really interesting, is clearly that the, the plant, once it was watered, and we see that in the very early part of the photograph when it's moving around and setting the clock back down on the table for the time lapse, and with the water being put back into the soil, the plant is able to absorb that water back up through the roots into the xylem, into the stem, and then into the leaves, and rehydrates the plant. And as the plant regains water from the soil, the leaves then regain turgor, and the stem regains turgor. So each of the individual living cells in the plant is like a small bag of water, and that bla those bags have deflated due to the loss of water. And as water then now moves through osmosis across the cell membrane into each of the individual cells, the cells regain turgor and lift the plant back up and lift the leaves back up and give the appearance of, a, of, of almost kind of a resurrection. But again, the plant wasn't dead to begin with. So that's, I think that's a key element of discussion. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas, and that's 30-Minute Plant Recovery Explained.